Hello, thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry it feels like I've vanished off the face of the earth this past couple of months, but I've been so, so busy. I haven't sold Alice and moved to the Netherlands like one viewer asked me. I've still got her travelling along the, the waterways and still loving every minute of it. The last two months has been super, super busy. Um, in the middle of December, I flew over to Romania for a week. That was for Victron to film the fit out of a VW van. That was really, really good fun. And you can see the first two episodes of that. Um, it, I've included links in the description below. There's about another two episodes to go with that series. Then obviously there was Christmas. And then when I came back from Christmas and right up to the sort of middle of January, I've been busy on another project. But that's all finished and completed. And now I am free to travel around the system again. This is the lovely Oxford Canal. And I'm travelling south. I was up on the, the Coventry Canal. Um, inside the boat is starting to look very different as well. I've got some friends on board helping me. The um, oak sheets of wood that I had horizontal above the gunwale, the more I put on of those. Unfortunately, the darker Alice got inside. And to be completely honest, it looked a bit like a sauna. So that's all come off. The sheets of wood have been cut and they are going vertical below the gunwale and I'm much, much happier with it. Also, another key change inside is the cable tray down the, the centre of the ceiling um, while sitting there and once you've put something in a place and you sit and look at it for a while you feel very different about it and I felt different about it so I've removed that it felt like the the ceiling was too cluttered and it, it felt like the, the ceiling was a lot lower than it actually was so that was removed and I've gone for a more traditional style of cable trays either side of the ceiling and um, damp proof MDF sheeting that almost a bit looks a bit like um, fake tongue and groove that style will be bent over the ceiling throughout the entire boat and it looks a lot, a lot neater. The foil came off and luckily I had a number of rolls extra so I've just refoiled bits and pieces. Another great thing that's gone into Alice that's been made during the, the month of December and a bit of January is a brand new oak, solid oak, uh, TV cabinet. The carpenter has been busy making it from scratch. That will be featured in another episode coming up because I've gone into quite some detail of, of how he's done it and what he's done and why I wanted things in certain places. So that's gone in under the gunnel. Um, I've got a brand new television and that works fantastically. And obviously, lots and lots of content coming up. Some of it will be the Oxford Canal. Some of it will be fitting out the boat inside. But in this episode, I am starting the Oxford Canal up at Hawkesbury Junction. And also preparing a new mast for the new television.
Back in June last year, you may remember, I featured the type of mobile broadband I was using. It has worked really well since then, but when Alice was in the tunnel in November, I trod on the cables and they pulled out of the aerial. Oops. So, along with new cables, it's time to install a new television aerial and a longer and stronger mast. The pole is a standard scaffolding pole, but it's aluminium, which is far lighter. The pole will be fitted into two brackets. One whole bracket that will support the mast, and the lower is a cup bracket. Both have tightening hex key bolts to stop it banging in the wind. I used one of the holes already at the stern that was used for the previous mount and drilled a 12mm hole. The hole's steel edges were painted with primer to avoid rust and when dry the brackets were mounted. I stuck some window tape behind each bracket mount to avoid water sitting there and rusting the wall. Instead of having a directional TV aerial, I purchased a new dome omnidirectional version. This means I can just put the pole up when moored and not fuss about aligning it. The aerial is fitted to the top of the pole using three screws and has an amplifier inside, which is powered via the TV lead and F connector. I received a number of helpful comments in the previous video about how to make a watertight connection with the cables. This time I'm using heat shrink that is lined with glue, forming a watertight seal. On the N-type connectors on the bottom of the Wi-Fi aerial, I fitted two N-type to female BNC adapters. I purchased two 5 meter leads with pre-fitted BNC connectors on their ends and they simply screwed into the adapters. As the heat shrink's diameter needed to be big enough to go right around the aerial's end connectors, whilst it was still hot, I added a cable tie to the end of the heat shrink, which brought it together nicely against the cable. It was then time to raise the mast. I'll detail the TV end of the install in a future episode that also includes my new TV cabinet. I'll also show you how the cabinet was made and where I plan to put it inside the narrowboat. We are really cracking on with lining Alice out and I've been busy filming all of it. I'd like to give a big shout out to the following Patreon supporters Tom Barber, Benjamin Lembry, Andy Copsey, Talonin, and a mega thank you to Charlie Balk. Thank you all of you for all of your support. If you've not already subscribed, please do. It doesn't cost you anything, and by clicking the bell icon, you'll be notified about future releases. Until next time, see you later.